Gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages, Smoothie Man Entertainment presents Welcome to the Show! I'm your host, Smoothie Man Bruce Wayne, aka Smooth Money Mayweather Paper Chaser. I'll at your boy. And welcome to the show. Passed with Chris. Ow. <laughs> the most motivational segment in all of sports. <laughs> it's the Bud Light. That's not how people talk about it time. It is in Europe. <laughs> <laughs> Steph and Clay have in weighed Europe. in on their foe-turned friend, Chris Paul, via Anthony Slater of The Athletic. Here's oh, Clay. Goodness. It's a little weird because we've had so many battles in the past with Chris. I think he's going to add such a calming presence and leadership component that we need. I like that. And here's Steph. Every team that CP has been on gets better. It's on us to put that all together and figure out how all the pieces work, which no one quite gets yet. First of all, first of all, fuck all that shit. This doesn't make zero sense. I don't care. No one, if you have any basketball knowledge or, or just watch the game of basketball, this trade makes zero sense. I don't care what anybody said. You got to make it make sense to me. It only makes sense to me if you're talking about money and how, like, I, I I just recently just put out a video about this, the new CBA stuff. This is point case in full, whatever you want to call it. Like, yo, this doesn't make any sense to me. But let's see what they, let's see what they else they got to say. Uh, he was right about getting better. Every team he's been on mm. has gotten significantly better, bro. So the question is... Is this going to work? Well, I think that the Warriors are right there. You, you've got Denver. Mm -hmm. And then you got the Lakers and the Suns and the Warriors. Mm -hmm. I think they are in that group. Now, what they need to do, and if you know this, I've said it, I've been saying it ad nauseum. They got to add size. Doesn't have to be. That's what I was saying. They got to add size, my G. Like, yo, like. And it ain't got to be nobody spectacular. Like, man, I don't even care, but y'all had Boogie Cousy at one point. Get him back. Get get someone uh, McGee back. Get him back. I say this, man. I say this all the time, man. They biggest, they, they number one problem was letting that man go, McGee. I don't care what no one said. When they let McGee go, that was their downfall right there because they didn't have no size. And ever since then, they ain't had no true center that can get them 10 easy points. Like, I was watching the game sometime, and McGee was giving them 10 easy points with less than five minutes, bro. The pick and roll was them. It was sick. The rim protection was right there on point, bro. Right there on point. But let's, let's continue. Great size. Mason Plumley. He's out there. Jayaka Pirtle. Like, he's out there. Yeah. Go, Thomas Bryant, for goodness sake. Okay. Go get a, seriously. Go ahead, go ahead. Was sorry. Festus Azili great? No, but they were was a better, Andrew way Bogut better team. Great? Oh, pretty good. They were a way better Steph team. Steph is arguably as good yeah, as but ever. They had, they had, they had, Draymond is still a very effective player. I get that Clay's not what he used and to. And Andre Iguodala was huge. Andrew Wiggins is better than Andre Iguodala was, in my opinion. Oh, I strongly disagree. Andrew so Wiggins could have, people thought, I mean, obviously Steph should have been MVP. But a lot of people thought maybe Andrew Wiggins is making a case. That's right. Wait, I think he's better than Andre Iguodala was on those right, teams. I did, that's fine. But, but it's arguable. I mean, it's okay. the numbers are better for sure. Yes, I, he's a better scorer and he's a very good defender as well. Yeah. So Clay is not what he used to be, but he's a twenty point scorer. So my two concerns are get me some size. Kevon Looney is great, but he's not enough. You saw Denver's too big. They didn't even face them. Uh, the Lakers were too big. Yep. One of these guys, nondescript. I don't care if it's Andre Drummond, for goodness sake. Get you a seven-footer. Yo, 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 yo. Don't disrespect Andre Drummond like that, bro. G, don't do that. Yo, at one point, he was giving you 20-20, bro. Andre Drummond would be a great fit for them. They don't need him to shoot. You need rim protection. You need protection around the rim, bro. You need a guy that can get you, like, 15 minutes. 
15 minutes, like good solid 15 minutes. And then when y'all get a player like that, utilize them. I'm tired of seeing y'all getting players and y'all don't utilize these players. They just sit on the bench. What's the point of you picking them up if you ain't gonna utilize these players and you talk about we ain't got depth, we ain't got we ain't got uh, 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 we ain't got enough depth, we ain't got enough experience. Well, if you put these players out there, you get them. But you know what I'm saying? That's what all I gotta say about that. Well, then you they can give you a real. few minutes. If you think few, that, if, and if, it, go ahead. Well, the, that's my number one concern. Here's the second one, because I think Chris will be good with that second unit. But Steph has missed an average of about 20 games over the last three years. I'm not even counting the one yeah. where he essentially missed the whole season. Yeah. Jordan Poole was able to carry them to keep them respectable when Steph's out. Mm -hmm. Now, if Steph's out, Chris isn't going to do that as far as scoring. And it, heck, Chris could be out sure. because he's older. So <laughs> those are like if Steph misses 20 games and you don't have Jordan Poole, who's going to carry you? So that's a little concern. But I think if they get some size, yeah. then I think they well, – Listen, they're if you think right they're Thomas Bryant teams. away from being a real contender, then you think they're a real contender. I mean, if they... If they if I, I, you're making light of the Thomas Bryant thing, no, but no, I'm no. serious. Like, I, it doesn't have to be a great player. They just need a big body. Right. My point is, I think... I think he's right, though. They don't need a great player. They just need a big body. That's what they were lacking, bro. Paint presence, man. That's what they've been lacking for the last... Like I said, since McGee has left, bro, that's just me personally. That's just me personally. They will add someone of that caliber, and they're obviously not going to add another guard, so I think you'll get your wish in that regard. I don't think the West should be scared of the Warriors, and I think, I think unfortunately, the Warriors have one button to push to really, you know, try to extend Steph's championship window, but it's one they're not willing to push, which is move off clay. Yeah, I don't want to do it. The, no, nobody wants to do it. And I don't even want to say it. I know. Well, I didn't even want to say you. it and I because I like the guy. The vibe. And I, but and can I, you give me what you think you might get for clay? Because obviously that, everybody else I sees think, that he's Right, but I you. think that at that a forty money, million dollar expiring contract okay, so now. is, you know, and maybe not this moment, but at some point between now and when teams realize not our year, I think that is highly attractive to teams. And I think they could and I think that you could get size, you could get weight, you could get, you know, you could get two players yeah. making 15 to 20 million and really do something, but it would feel like a betrayal. Kill, yeah, you kill the vibe. And, but yeah, but from a basket, particularly, but here's the other thing, particularly now that you have Chris Paul, because one of the reasons we're saying, well, Chris Paul can't start, can't even close all this, is because one of your guard spots, wing spots, taken up with Clay. And Clay, it's not. And Clay, by the way, before the playoffs, was having one of the the, the his best years he since the, the league injury. And three pointers and, made, and he was awesome for a couple months. But at that salary, with what this team needs, he's the obvious move. Mm -hmm. But it feels yeah, sacrilegious get to do it. Yeah, yeah. You can't do it. I get that. Uh, but you can fire Belichick. <laughs> I didn't say that. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, like I said, bro. Yeah, well. They got more to talk about too with this. You know what I'm saying? Like, like I said, man. If you ain't seen the video, man. Like I said, the CBA with the new player, um, collective bargain agreement, bro. It's 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 hard, bro. It's hard. It's hard. Like, I I just don't think that's a good move, though. Getting CP3. Because he, he, Chris Broussard just said it, bro. Steph misses by like 20 games. Chris Paul has missed games too, and he's older. And the, the one thing about it, Jordan Poole did, even though the regular season, like, yo, he did show up. You know what I'm saying? He kept him afloat. You know, he can give, he could drop you 25, you know, if he, if he wants to. He could drop you 25 with Clay, with Steph. With them or with the with or without them. I'm just saying. I just don't think this is a good move. I think they're gonna be I think they're gonna be playoffs. They probably gonna be playing. Let me know what y'all think, bro. Let me know what y'all think, man. Getting CP3, was that a good idea? Should they move off from Clay? Or let Draymond drink green go? Cause what Nick just said, 
I didn't even know. You got 40 mil right there. You could trade fucking clay. Get somebody that's worth 20 mil. Another person that's worth 20 mil. And y'all can make it work. In the Stan Steph season. But I would I would seriously think about waving Chris and getting somebody better. Buy him out his contract, get someone better, boom, you can still keep Clay. Because he still can get you 20. You can still keep Draymond, re-sign him, you know what I'm saying, with the money he wants. It's just going to be interesting because we still got to worry about Draymond. And like I said earlier, man, he's supposed to be meeting with Portland for what I saw and Damian Leonard. But we still don't even know if Damian Leonard is going to stay with the team he's got. And the summer's just started, bro. Draft seasons, we done with that. Summer league is coming, bro. Like, man, this is, it's just, just, it's just getting started, bro. It's just getting started. I'm waiting for a player to tell me I want out. I want to, I want to force my way out. I don't want to be here no more. Trade me. Like, I can't wait for that. I can't wait. I, I guarantee it's going to be something. Or, or a player that's going to do something crazy like Kyrie. And I wouldn't even say that was his fault um, once again. But. Y'all know what to do. I'm your host, Smoothie Man Bruce Wayne, a.k.a. Smooth Money Mayweather, the paper chaser. Holla at your boy. You already know what to do. Turn on the bell notification, my G. Hit that subscribe button. All right. Peace.